Just ask me after the dog come back. What's up, Jimmy? What's up? My daughter be she be on her way to sleep. I gotta talk to my daughter. First question be Ira Winderman. Go ahead, Ira. Jimmy, obviously there were greater important things than a victory today. So what's it like to know who you're playing in the playoffs, how to get prepared, and how do you feel this team stands now getting ready, knowing it'll be best of seven against the Pacers? Um, we're going to go about everything the same way that we always do. We'll get better, come tomorrow, um, make sure our bodies are right. But uh, We still got them one more time before – this whole playoff thing started. So, you know, we got to start by sending a message then. And then what did you sort of think today when the starters were in there at the beginning, how the five of you guys played? Played well. Um, we're still expected to win that game. Uh, but, you know, stuff happens. We didn't, we didn't make shots. They did. We didn't play heat basketball down the stretch. They took advantage of that. But um, I think we're, we're – our minds and our hearts are still in the right place. So, you know, like I said, tomorrow when we get back on the court, we get to get better. We get to learn from our mistakes. And we're going to hit this thing running. Andres Lopez, go ahead. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, there was an inbound play where Chris Paul and Duncan Robinson kind of got into a bit of a scuffle, and then it ended up with uh, Chris chucking the ball at Duncan. The very next play, uh, you took a charge on Chris. Was that you kind of having your teammates back and letting Chris know, like, we're not going to let this slide? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to throw the ball at my teammate like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll get a turnover, get an offensive foul, but um, we don't we do not do that here. So, you, you, you mess with one of my guys, especially one of my shooters, then you got to deal with me and everybody else. Next question, David Lopez, ETV. Uh Jimmy, big game for Tyler tonight, obviously. What's it like for you watching him play with that type of confidence out there? Um, that's who he is. Love that kid to death. Um, he's growing each and every time he steps on the basketball court. Obviously, he can score the ball, but he's getting everybody involved. Um, he's he's listening, he's learning, and he, he's being coached by everybody, and he's just being a great teammate. Um, it's crazy that he's as young as he is, but he, he, plays it, he plays the game like he's been in the league for a long time. Okay, last question, Cooper Moorhead. Jimmy, Tyler referenced how much a lot of the vets and then coaches like Quinny have helped him as far as his skills finishing in the paint. Where, where have you seen him improve in that area over the last uh, year? With Tyler? Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, his, his finishing, knowing when to make late decisions, knowing when to shoot the pull-up floater, knowing when to hit the baseline or pocket pass. Um, it's not surprising to me, though, because he's always studying the film. He's always watching it before the game, after the game. And the kid just wants to be great. He wants to help bring a championship to Miami. And uh, I think we're going to do that. Thank you, Jimmy.